Hi, good morning, my dear students. Welcome back once again to the social science class of 9th standard. I hope all are fine and take care. So, let us start our uh, chapter. In previous classes, we, are, uh, we were focusing on sociology. And under sociology, the first chapter was family. And we know what is meant by a family and what are the chief... Uh, salient features or uh, characteristic features of family you know family the word family was derived from a latin word uh, it means uh, to serve all to serve the members okay so family means uh, there, there will be an mutual understanding will be there and moreover there will be blood relationship uh, we call it as kinship okay blood relationship will be there and moreover the property the property and wealth will be extinct from one generation to another generation through this relationship okay and uh, marriage is also prohibited among the members within these members okay that is also another feature of family okay so let us come back again uh, we can see there are two types of marriage families are the patriarchal and matriarchal okay patriarchal family and matriarchal family majority families in the world are following patriarchal family patriarchal family means uh, the power goes to the male community or the father's uh, tradition okay through the boys only suppose uh, if the father dies in the family and whole property will be going to the sons okay not for the daughters such a system is known as patriarchal system okay and moreover in this patriarchal system if a boy is marrying a girl uh, the girl uh, the bridegroom want to stay with the family of the boy or we call bride or the husband okay and that is a system majority people are following that system and whereas matriarchal system here a girl is sorry a boy is married to the family of the girl so after marriage the boy want to stay along with the uh, wife's family okay uh, this things we can see very rare in our country uh, especially in the northern part of Malabar we can see in Kerala okay and in this family uh, the property of the parents will be going to the daughters okay the power is vested with the daughters okay and there is a difference between patriarchal and matriarchal family here power is vested with the, the sons and here the power is vested with the, the girls okay or power is more for father and here mother okay that is a difference and now, now let us discuss about uh, joint family and nuclear family okay you know in our ancient time onwards human beings were uh, living in together we call it as joint family system there we can see grandfather grandmother okay and sometimes grandfathers brothers and children okay and uh, our father mother our siblings brothers and sisters okay sometimes we might have got married our children okay we call uh, sometimes we call it as grandsons okay and many many members will be there okay and it will be very interesting and very uh, what we say we can see a lot of enjoyment okay always talking to each other okay and there will be uh, many many features are there and the size will be very large the joint, in joint family the number of member, members will be more okay sometimes more than 20 in between 20 and 40 members will be there and cooperation mutual cooperation is very much there if anyone faces any financial problem the members will help each other okay and uh, the expense in the home are meeting by are taking by all the people they are sharing each other okay so there is a feeling of cooperation and sharing is uh, 
made it here okay and uh, residents and kitchen the same uh, the, uh, the place where they are living as well as the kitchen is also same okay they are eating together they are sharing their feelings okay and they are sharing not only the positive things they are also uh, sharing the difficult situations also okay they share the sad as well as happy moments okay so the life will be very happy then also many many disadvantages are there that was the reason for joint family okay even though the facilities are there if one or two members make problems means it will uh, pollute the uh, positive atmosphere in the family okay so cooperation is very very important in joint family okay we want to share all the things among all okay otherwise uh, others will feel what we are selfish okay so sharing is very very important in joint family system okay another thing uh, self sufficient okay whenever we are feeling any uh, financial problem we can ask directly we can ask our family members so in, in another situation we can also help them so mutual understanding and uh, helping each other that is another quality of joint family system and uh, another important thing they uh, all these members will be following the same uh, religion or the same caste okay so these are the salient features or important features of joint family system okay i hope you understood okay once again i shall repeat it is large in size cooperation is more in joint family they are living or residence and kitchen is the same okay for 20 or 40 members they are cooking at a time and in kitchen also they will be helping each other okay and all the expenses of the family all this family are shared by the members of the that family okay and self sufficient okay and there won't be poverty okay they will be helping each other and they will be sharing their feelings emotional feelings okay whenever anyone is ill or uh, falling under disease this family members will be looking after them okay and uh, they will be following same religion and ideology okay so many many unity we can see in joint family okay whereas when we come to joint uh, nuclear family this is a uh, sari feature of the modern period okay due to the arise of technology industrialization uh, privatization and globalization uh, all the family uh, became nuclear family and then there are many many demons are there the size is small both the father and mother may be working and they have their own uh, problems okay and no one is there to share with them they are feeling many many psychological stress okay and uh, the number of the strengths will be simple and maximum there will be uh, one or two children okay and the stress is more if they are having any financial problem or uh, any physical or mental problem uh, no one will be there to look after their case okay so means stress will be there but the how many members are there that much members will be enjoying the life more okay Uh, if they are, the father and mother is getting high salary and income that money is spending only within this limited people so limited uh, children are getting the more resources okay more facilities all the facilities even though they are getting facilities but they are stressed no one is there to talk with them okay and father and mother is very busy children are children children are going to school or colleges okay and they are feeling loneliness okay these are the, some problems of nuclear family okay and i hope you understood a nuclear family one sec one second is in here the size of nuclear family is very small compared to joint family it is very small maximum there will be three or four members including father and mother and it is simple okay uh, in joint family we can see if 20 to 40 members will be there here it is simple and psychological stress financial stress and the many many problems are common in uh, nuclear family and moreover suicide tendency is more among nuclear family members rather than 
joint family members okay here each and family each and every family members will be meeting each other and through uh, facing each other they can understand what are the inner emotions if anyone is feeling sad they will share it and they will uh, find out solutions for those things here the solutions are not getting properly okay and day by day the stress will increase sometimes they may consult a doctor or some okay so then also some limitations are there okay so these are the features of joint family and nuclear family now i hope you understood about patriarchal family and matriarchal family moreover joint family and nuclear family okay and please read go through the uh, textbook okay thank you have a nice day